Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. Now, in today's video, I will be doing my predictions for the upcoming WWE Royal Rumble pay-per-view. I'm, I'm not going to do all the matches. I'm just going to do the ones that I feel are ones that I would probably watch and uh, be interested in watching, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to leave the the big one till the end, which is the 30-man over the top rope match, which is what everybody wants to watch. Um, but I'm going to talk about some of them, like John Cena versus AJ Styles. I can't remember if this is for the title. I think it is for the title for the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Um, that's based on the SmackDown brand. AJ Styles is the current um, champion. Um, if John Cena wins this, he will tie uh, Ric Flair's. I'd say woo. <laughs> Tempted. Uh, Ric Flair's um, all time, you know, for most titles, which is 16, I think. Yeah, 16. Um, John, John, the, John will do it. You know, John Cena will. You know what I mean? It might not be uh, tonight. It might be. But I, I'm, I'm still loving AJ Styles as a champion. He's such a great heel. I mean, you know, it's nearly a year ago. Or is it actually a year ago? I don't know what date. But it's actually a year ago when he made his uh, WWE debut on the same pay-per-view Royal Rumble. And big reaction from the fans. I was over the moon. You know, he's wrestled in TNA. Uh, another wrestling companies I've just got a feeling that I just got a feeling like John Cena will win it but then I think AJ Styles will retain so it's a hard one to choose from so it's really that to say it's hard that because you don't know which way it's going to go unless they're going to keep John Cena waiting WWE for, I don't know Um, I can't really pick that I think it's going to be a very good match I do think that. I think it's going to be a very good match. Um, I'm actually happy that these two are back in a feud now. You know, they took a break. Um, they, they went into a feud ever since AJ Styles turned heel on uh, John Cena. Months and months ago. So, I can't really pick from that, to be honest with you. Um, next up, we've got Kevin Owens versus... Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship title. Universal title. Yeah. Universal title. Um, I'm just going to... I don't know. I've got a feeling that Chris Jericho will interfere. I do. Um... But isn't Chris Jericho in that cage being lifted above the ring? It's going to be quite funny that. I think, I think that's right. Let me know. Um, I, I, I kind of want to see. I'm not really a big fan of Roman Reigns or Kevin Owens. I'd rather see Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is still the US uh, champion, isn't he? And uh, I'm glad he is. I don't want Roman Reigns to be the US champ. I mean, he's so boring. I, I prefer Roman Reigns better if he was a heel. Or if he was back in the Shield officially. I know they're kind of getting back officially, but once they're back on the same brand, you can cut. That's when you call it official, when they're back on the same brand, when they're on the same brand together. You know what I mean? It's not right when one's on SmackDown, two are on Raw. It's not, they're not officially back together, in my opinion. So. Uh, it will happen soon, hopefully. 
that's a tough one to call. I kind of want Roman Reigns. If I had to pick, I'm kind of getting sick of um, the Kevin Owens show. Um, I kind of want to see Roman Reigns. I'm quite, kind of interested, quite intrigued to see what they look like with the holding the US, uh, not US, the Universal Championship title. So that'd be quite interesting. That so. I I think I might go Roman Reigns for that one, even though it probably won't be. What's the next match we're going to talk about? Ah, oh, yeah, it's uh, Rick Swan, the defending champion for the Cruiserweight Championship title against uh, Neville, who's a heel now, which is amazing, absolutely amazing, having him as a heel. Um, this is this is great move from WWE, great move. Um, he suits it so much. He suits it so much. He he needed this, and I I'm going to go for it. I hope he does, and I think he will beat Rick Swan tonight for the title. I think he will, because uh, he deserves it. And uh, yeah, next up we've got Charlotte, the defending champion for the uh, women's title, WWE Women's um, Raw title, against Bailey. And uh, oh God, I love I love you know I mean she's a lovely person Charlotte I met her um, in person met her uh, last year yeah last year and um, but to me I don't like her as a being a champion I I just don't I just don't think she's a good champion that's my opinion but I'd rather see um, Bailey I'd rather see Bailey being honest with you. I love Bailey. Like I love Sasha Banks. I love, I love Bailey. Um, I'm actually going to call this. I'm actually going to call this. I don't know if it's time for her to come back. If she's still suspended, I don't know. But I'm going to call it anyway. Paige to return. Um, turns heel. I don't know if she was a heel before she was suspended. Heal and help Charlotte retain the title. Putting it out there. That's just, uh, you know, throwing it in there. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, on the other hand, I'd love to see Bailey win it. So, I'm hoping. But, I think it might be Charlotte. But, I'm predicting a Bailey win. I'm saying it. I'm predicting a Bailey win or Paige to return. Turn a heel. Help Charlotte. Something like that. Those two predictions. Now on to the big one, which is the 30-man over-the-top rope match. We've got wrestlers such as Undertaker, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, uh, Dean Ambrose. Yeah, Dean Ambrose. It's, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. It's so unpredictable this year. Just thinking about it, um, you don't know who's going to win. I mean, people thinking Undertaker. And then people are thinking, well, what about Sami Zayn? What about Braun Strowman? It's hard to predict who's going to win. But I'll give you before I give you the person or two people who shortlist who I think are going to win. I want to throw a bit of a, like I did with the page thing, some predictions into this. I think Triple H. Well, if you didn't know, um, well, you probably know this. Uh, Triple H when Seth Rollins was facing Sami Zayn for a place in this rumble Sami Zayn won spoiler alert if you don't know already um, um, so Seth Rollins was in the match with him Sami Zayn was down um, Seth Rollins was taking a you know he was looked like he was going to win uh, and then Triple H music hits no sign of Triple H and then Seth is looking for him just and then it took about it was a good 10 15 seconds something like that I'd say and then he just stopped getting distracted by it and then he just went back to Sami Zayn uh, to finish him off and then Sami Zayn quickly pinned him one two three matches over so there you go Triple H got him um, but if you didn't know this um, type it in YouTube after you watch this video um, Seth Rollins um, and Triple H NXT and it was uh, recorded yesterday and uh, Seth Rollins was at TakeOver yesterday was at TakeOver NXT TakeOver and he uh, 
that Seth Rollins um, came to the ring with a microphone, he invaded NXT TakeOver, and he wanted Triple H. And Triple H came out within about the next 15, 20 seconds, probably more. Um, and he just stood there near the uh, where the wrestlers come out with Triple H. And Seth Rollins stood in the ring. And he just stared at him, and his bodyguards came out from behind Triple H. And he sent Triple H sent the bodyguards to go get Seth Rollins, and he walked straight to the back. Um, but that was something to watch. I, I, I found that out. I think it was. Uh, when I saw that. That was on Facebook, wasn't it? I saw it. I was. That was awesome. That so. My prediction is, is that, I think Triple H will enter tonight's Thirty Man over the top rope per Royal Rumble. I think he will, and I think Seth Rollins will. Like what? Um, Triple H did months ago and helped Kevin Owens win the Universal title. I think he, Seth Rollins will screw um, Triple H over. Triple H gets to the ring. Seth Rollins is not in it, but Seth Rollins will come out, either distract Triple H for him to get def- thrown out by another wrestler or go into the ring and throw him out himself. I don't know, something like that. Something to, I think something like that will happen. I think Triple H and Seth Rollins will be out there as well around the ring. Something like that, I think. So I'm just throwing that in. And a new prediction as well. Um, if you know about Dolph Ziggler, he'll turn, which is fantastic as well, along with Neville, um, as I say. Um, is it Super Kick, you call it? Yeah. Um, on Jerry the King. Um, Lola. Um, he was doing this thing called King's Court. Um, not last Smackdown. I think Smackdown before that. And he ran a bit of an argument. And then Dolph being his heel, having to go and just kind of... Um, insulting Jerry and then kind of super kicked him and then Jerry was like and JBL came out and Dolph was just walking away from the ring didn't look back just being the heel he is and uh, I just I just got a feeling that with Dolph being in this because they've not seen each other next Smackdown um, I just think that um, Dolph Obviously, it's going to be in the ring, and I feel like Jerry's going to do something for a distraction like Seth and Triple H, as I say. I'm throwing that in as well, so I think something's going to happen there as well with Jerry and Dolph. Um, in tonight's, probably Jerry will. I'll say that as well. What happens if Jerry comes in? Because anybody, you know, we don't know who the other participants are going to be. You know, they like throwing some more, some probably older WWE wrestlers in, some like that, or some NXT stars. I hope Ty Dillinger comes in. I'm hoping Bobby Roode, Bobby Roode's the new um, NXT champ, so I don't want to spoil his name, but uh, Shinze Nakamura, Shinze, Shinze Nakamura, I hope I said his name right, um, I think it's his surname right, and um, I think he'll make his debut, I think this is the time he'll come to the main roster now, after losing the title to Bobby Roode, um, so yeah, probably Austin Aries will come in, who knows. Um... So I want Eric Young. I do. I want Eric Young. Um, as far as I'm saying, so yeah, Jerry to come in, and uh, I think something will happen there. I really do. So it, it's really exciting. It really is um, exciting. So I'm gonna give my prediction now. Who I think is gonna win? So you got people thinking. I'm, I'm going. It's big hype for Braun. I looked on the the bookies, the you know the betting website, probably about a week ago, and Braun Strowman was the favourite on their website to win the Royal Rumble. The favourite over the Undertaker as well, Randy Orton. I've got a few favourites. As much as I love it to be Dean, Dean Ambrose, I don't think it'd be Dean Ambrose. I'll be over the moon if it is. So I'll put him one of it. But who I do think will be, I think it could be Braun Strowman. I think it could be. It could be Sami Zayn here. You never know. What about Randy Orton? What about Bray Wyatt? Because Bray Wyatt did do a sister, sister Abigail on Luke Harper. What happens? You know, be interesting with Luke coming into it. If Luke's going to be in it, I think he will. Or probably just do the same as I said with Jerry and Dolph. Triple H just have to distract Bray. Something like that, attack Bray. I don't know. Um, it could be Luke Harper's year. Who knows? Um, Undertaker, 
which I he could because people are saying Undertaker John Cena for the WWE title if John Cena beats AJ Styles people are saying that I mean that'd be all right but I'd rather see someone I don't I don't really want to see the Undertaker win it to be honest with you I really don't that's just me I don't I think Bray Wyatt Undertaker Sami Zayn and Braun Strowman could be Dolph Ziggler but I think so just think I think Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt I'm saying these or I think under I think it could be Randy Orton I'm saying Randy Orton now I'm going to say Randy Orton and I think it's hard it's hard isn't it Randy Orton is one of the top ones I'm going to say that's one of my picks that I'm going to choose from um, that is because I think he'll turn face now. I think he'll go back to face. Well, I think he's actually playing the the Wyatt family. I think he's wanting them to what Bray did to Luke and stuff, um, try and split them up and be easier to dismantle or just destroy him. Um, that's what he wants. I think he just played them, and uh, I think he's he's going to become between him and Bray or probably in the match. I'm just going to throw Bray out of the RKO and stuff like that. That's what I think. I think this is tonight he's going to turn face Randy Orton I think he's going to turn face do it during this match just saying it's hard I, I can't really I've got a few I can't really pick one um, but I think Randy Orton's up there um, but it could be somebody who I've not mentioned or somebody who we don't think is going to win it you never know um, it's, it's unpredictable this year I'm I'm looking forward to watching it. I'll probably be asleep. It's gonna be late, so I'll probably without finding any spoilers or anything like that to ruin it for me. I'll probably uh, I'll watch it on the W Network tomorrow. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video, guys. Uh, let me down your predictions down below, and uh, yeah, peace.